you want to make shoes, but you don't know nothing about shoemaking. You are a total beginner. So how you, a total beginner, can start making beautiful and comfortable shoes? Something like this. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. What is important here is to get the right training that will guide you to make real shoes. No DIY shoes, no shortcuts, real shoes that will be comfortable and beautiful as well. You can check other shoes that my students made and I will place a link to their work in the description below this video. Now, this is 100% something that you can learn to make. In this video, I want to show you how we make shoes. I will not show you the entire process of shoemaking because it consists of many different steps and I can't place all these steps in this short video. So I will show you only main steps of the process where we learn how to make shoes. So where do we start? We start from the beginning, from the shoe last. This is the first thing that you will touch in process of making shoes. And you should know what types of shoe last we have, what are most important parameters, how to find them, how to measure them. So everything about shoe last that you should know in making shoes. Let's uh, take a close look to the last. Another parameter of our feet is not only the length, it's also the volume. And that's why in the last we have same parameter as we have in our feet. It can cover also the entire bottom of the last or only heel part. The length of the last is not the length of your feet. They will not be same. Next step is to apply the design of your shoes. We need to cover our shoe last with masking tape and then we need to apply a design of our shoes working with anatomical lines that you should find on the shoe last. Following these anatomical lines, you will have not only beautiful shoes, but comfortable as well. And each shoe type has its own anatomical lines that you should follow. So in the applying of the design, we should follow all these important lines and points. So the distance is four millimeters, four centimeters, and I divide on two. So let's mark line in the distance of one centimeter from this line of quarters. Okay, and now I can continue the quarters between those two points: this one, this one, and the end. After you will draw, apply the design of your shoes, you will need to make a pattern. Pattern making is one of the most important steps in shoemaking and I focus a lot on this step because pattern making will help you not only in pattern making itself, but in all other steps of shoemaking. So in this step, you will develop pattern of upper, of lining and in so also the inner parts of our foot were stiffeners. Our masking tape powder according to the point that we get after we marked joint line and center line and heel height. The pattern is for left foot so I need to pay attention on this mark. This is the inner mark. So now let's transfer also our line of outer side and inner side and through these points I draw line okay and this will be this way you see according to this line you can remember which of, of the lines closer to the top when you will have pattern of all your shoe details you need to cut them assemble them and sew them and in this step, you will need to know how to cut correctly, how to sew, what is the order of assembling. And in this step, pattern making will help you 
to know how to assemble all these parts together. So pattern making is the key. Edges of lining I will not cut because they are not good. We will attach edge of the upper horizontal lines according to these lines of inner side and outer side we will know how to assemble quarters we will sew the tongue and we will cut the extra of lining after we will attach lining we will sew them together and we will sew also the back and i will sew it till the edge of the lining on the other side here hit with the hammer and we finish to sew our derby shoes so when you will sew your shoe upper you will move on to the lasting process this is the process where we put our upper on the shoe and close the edges and there are different approach of lasting and you need to consider the stretchiness of leather you can work with different materials but what is important is to know the approach in this step and now i will send this edge of to half to make it very smooth to not... now pull on the other side feel with your hand that you don't have here any folds so and double is thin and that's why it was so easy to close it without creation of any folds here now here I have fold I'm grabbing in the middle of this fold and twist pull and twist at the same time on the middle of this fold nail here here and here pull it and I can close it at the end lay tightly to the lining okay you need to have certain technical skills to not use ready-made items factory-made items like heels insoles shoe soles because in 99 percent they will not suit your shoe last your shoe upper maybe at the end these shoes will look okay but when you will wear the shoes they will not be comfortable and they will not last for a long time so that's why my focus is to teach you how to make all these important shoe components by yourself. So you will be able to make your own heels, your own shoe soles, working with different materials. I attach uh, exactly on the marked line. You got your midsole and it's ready to make shoes setting these two points on one line now i will attach it to the bottom you see each time i stop to check if i got here flat surface and i made my heel according to the midsole so the parallel line to the edge of the leather see I still have here curve so I will scrub here more first we attach the toe and then the heel through three layers of leather we need to pass our owl and you see in the way where you see this ball threads a little bit in the air now you can make much more you can make bespoke footwear where you can take standard shoe last customize it according to the parameters of your feet to have comfortable shoes working with natural materials i need to keep the shape the same shape rounded curved shape that i have on the last so i will send all the surface to make it around here and after you will send toe puff on one half of your derby send also the second half to have identical shape on the toe to send according to the measurements that you have okay 
because I don't need to send the instep here. This allowance you need to pull a little bit and to check if you have here any uh, gap. You see now here I'm cut till this line. I have here muscle but not so big so I need to send it and if you see that something extended your insole a little bit bigger than the feather line you can cut it again you can understand according to your profile of your feet these were only main steps of shoemaking process there are much more inside of each step there are many different techniques and approaches that you should know but even if you are a total beginner in shoemaking this is something that you can learn can make just like my students do hey we are doing it since 2013 thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out see you in the next video bye